Nine lesions that don't ever turn into cancer, seborrhea keratoses, a subcase for short, can look dangerous. In reality they are just annoying, also irreverently called barnacles. They come in all different shapes and sizes from large black growths to barely noticeable raised areas. Characteristics of seborrhea keratosis, the wicked witch with a wart on her nose probably had a seb. K not a wart. So how can you tell if that bump on your face or chest is actually a sub K? They do have some defining characteristics. 1. Stuck on. They are classically described as looking like someone took clay or a blob of dirt and stuck it on the skin. The edge of the seborrhea keratosis is not attached to the underlying skin making it appear that it could be removed by picking it off with your fingernail. This is because seborrhea keratoses arise from the epidermis, a top layer of skin. They don't extend deep into the skin like warts. What you see is what you get. 2. Warty surface seborrhea keratoses may look like warts but they don't contain human papilloma, viruses that cause warts. As they develop some can have a very rough surface with deep pits and fissures almost like cauliflower being pulled apart. 3. Smooth surface with horn pearls. Some seborrhea keratoses don't have a rough surface. If they are smooth, they contain tiny bumps that look like seeds that are lighter or darker than the surrounding tissues. These are called horn pearls and they are actually bits of keratin that develop in a whirling circular pattern. Sometimes these horn pearls are best seen with a magnifying glass for itching. For some reason seborrhea keratoses tend to itch especially the older we get. Some people will unintentionally manipulate or pick at a seborrhea keratosis and cause it to be further irritated. If irritated enough, the skin around it can become red and the seborrhea keratosis itself can bleed. This can be alarming to savvy skin watchers who know that a doctor should see any lesion that bleeds. What can be done about seborrhea keratosis? The first and usually the best choice is to leave them alone. They may get larger, but they are not precancerous so leaving them there for the life of your skin is not a problem. Seborrhea keratoses are usually removed because they itch, they interfere with clothing or jewelry. But they are cosmetically unacceptable. That last option is a judgment call. The warty thing on an 80-year-old man's nose may not be as big of a deal as the one on a 40-year-old woman's nose.